Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we will be working on the seat belts on the EG. So um, the seat belts that I have now are quite worn, they are a bit tired. And um, what that does is when you kind of, it doesn't retract like very smoothly. Right, so I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. So when you're in the car and Usually happens on the passenger side a lot. Um, maybe it's because my passengers are not used to the seatbelt, and they are kind of used to like the new, all the brand new cars. They have their seatbelt like works like super good. So right, so when they release the seatbelt on a, I guess a modern car, you just press the buckle, the seatbelt just goes right back in. But on the EG, eh, when you release the seatbelt it doesn't go anywhere, see? So you kind of have to like throw it out to get out of the car and uh, it doesn't retract because it's kind of like, yeah, it's just there. Um, and it is not strong enough, like the spring is not strong enough to like, like retract all the way automatically. And you see all this, I think I talked about it in a previous video. So all this is actually, um, if the buckle just comes up until here and the passenger just slams the door shut on the door seal and yeah back to the seat belt so the seat belt actually requires me to remove the panel and to remove the panel i need to remove the rear seat uh, and also i may need to remove the front seat just to give me a little bit more working room and remove the boot as well because the clips are there and um, removing panels is one of the scariest things I feel for an old car because the dirty old plastic, you know, clips are gonna break if you're not careful. And yeah, I will try my best not to break any clips today. But if I do break it, I have no idea how to find parts for these because interior parts are so hard to find on these kind of things and they're so expensive because everybody's restoring old cars and the value just goes up. So yeah, I don't want to break any clips today. One more unfortunate thing that uh, I discovered uh, while I got the car was that the trunk is absolutely junk. Um, like that aluminum tray for when I did the radiator flush. So I just put it in there to just hold all this shit. Um, and yeah, it's actually a wood trunk and I guess almost 30 years of usage. Um, the, the wood's starting to rot and uh, it's, well, not rot, but it's like, you see all this sawdust all over the place and it's just getting all over. So I have a plan for that. Um, but I need to clean all this up. All this sound deadening is disgusting. So look at all this black glue residue. So I think it's just like over spill or something from the residue and then it just sticks all the oil and dirt over the years and it ends up, it turns out very disgusting. And then the jack was left here. So I guess where, while driving, it kind of um, tore through a hole in the sound deadening. So I'm not sure if that is like, there's one spot here that that I'm very afraid um, that it's rust. So yeah, uh, I, I will need to take a look at that um, and try and get that fixed uh, before it gets any worse. Hopefully I can clean all this sound deadening thing up, which I hope. Actually, I don't know. I, I know it's going to be a very tedious task. Um, but I don't hope it's a tedious task. I hope it's not going to be a tedious task. Um, but yeah, I'm very disappointed at this. Let's just leave it at that. Seat removal time. It's not entirely necessary if you can finagle your way to remove the, the, the seat belt buckle or if you don't have to. But removing the seat actually gives me a lot of space to work in the car. So. I think it's not that difficult. Um, it's a 12, 12 um, millimeter socket. And yeah, first time removing a seat. Uh, let's give it a go. All right, we got it out. And what do you know? Seats are actually really, really heavy. And yeah, look at the amount of space that I have to work with here now. This is so great. Uh, yep, now for the back seat removal. Okay, so 
I know black seats, you probably can't see much. Uh, what you need to do for back seat is you gotta remove the bottom one first and then you, uh, actually I just need to remove this side uh, because I'm working on this panel here. I'm gonna replace the passenger side for today. And for the back seat, what you need to do is grab it from behind and you pull it up. Right, just pull it up. And there is a clip here and also there are some hooks at the front that you need to unhook and it comes out pretty simple. Uh, right, so let me set you down. Alright, we got it out. Okay, so this is the oh damn this is kind of the there's a hole here that actually the 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 back seat slides into so what you got to do is just wiggle the the hook out of there so i don't know what hook this so this hook goes into that hole and yeah i realized with the theme of this car that this sound deadening thing is just crazy dirty like look at all this so, uh, I don't know how to clean that up. I'll find, figure out a way. Someday, someday. Then, onto the back seat. So you gotta just pull it down. Put it down and it should slide out uh, from one end. All you gotta do is take the seat and then uh, push it that way because it's it's being like held onto one of the clips here or one of the, some rods and then just slides into that hole. So what you gotta do, just push it this way and it should slide out. and then pull the other side and it should come out just like that. many many hours later I am finally done it took way longer than expected because I had to remove the strap bar and all that and yeah so finally it is done the main thing that we want to tackle today is this so this is the seat belt assembly we're gonna tackle this today all right so they have this like little plastic baggy thing I have no idea what it's for maybe it's to protect the thing from dust so I think it's just two plastic clips uh, they just pop out using a pry tool and then this plastic should slide right off and then to remove the seat belt just lift it up there's a screw right here uh, I think this is a 19 mil so it's quite big and you just screw it off And there's a little, I think this is a 10 mil on top. So one big uh, screw at the bottom, one small on the top, and the thing should be out. There we go, it's finally out after like oh, how many hours man. So for the top, you kind of just have to pry it out. It should, it should come out, please. Yep, there we have it. And it should, yep, uncover a screw behind. So you just have to unscrew that out. The seatbelt for the EG is the bottom part is this rail uh, that goes here actually. So uh, for the universal seat belt that came, it came, it comes with like um, I think a uh, metal bracket for you to screw down into a solid point. Uh, for I guess most cars is like that, but for this era of cars, I know for a fact for the EG as well as I think the RX8 because my brother has RX8, so they use this um rail type thing. So uh, just need to chop it off.
All right, looking at the tool right now, there's actually kind of a difference to it. Um, this is the new one that I got, the universal um, seatbelt, and this is the the one on the EG. So it's missing this, the, the one that I got is missing this thing on top, and I don't think there's a way to remove it because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like riveted in or something. I can't seem to figure out a way to remove it, so I'll, I'll have to remove this screw and I need to reuse this. Um, yeah, and I can't... S so, what this does, it was the top bolt that kind of makes sure that the seatbelt doesn't like rotate this way. So, I don't know, maybe I have to do run it without. Uh, I, I think that's what I'm going to be end up doing and hopefully that will, that will work. Um, yeah, so not so sure about this so i guess the only way is to figure out if it works all right so it's good that uh, it comes with this uh, cap thing because what do you know i broke the clip so yep although it's black but i guess it's better than having the raw screw exposed uh, and i've like screwed everything back in place as well as the rail so this is how the rail works so yeah so uh, if you're sitting in front, you slide your thing in front and then you just pull it to your seat. So because me being short as well as uh, my girlfriend, so we both need the chair like far forward uh, instead of back. Uh, actually more for me because I can't reach the pedals. So we will slide forward and then it goes over to the seat. So test fit, pull it out and let go. It works. So yeah. and. Have another rat's nest of uh, to, to to pull back up and uh, one bad news. Wait up. <coughs> so while I was actually removing all the panels, I realized there's water here. So there's like water here leaking down all the way into the boot. That explains that rust spot right there. So I really don't know how I'm gonna like sort this out i probably have to take this to the shop i'm not confident to do any of this myself uh and yeah removing just one panel was a big enough headache for me and i don't think i'm ready for for rust repair and water leaks repair yet and i also may want to redo all this sound editing because look at how disgusting all this is yeah from like the passenger seat onwards I guess because I'll never I guess the front is is probably as bad but I guess I'll never see it because I don't remove the front seat so often I'll I remove the rear seats more often and yeah I may or may not do that I don't know I have to go and get a code uh, how much it will cost me to do all this and yeah so look at all this junk piece it all back together Last but not least, uh, don't forget to switch up the seat belt buckle on the seat. So, yeah, because this one is pretty old, so might as well just change it out to the one that came together with the kit. Uh, just need to remove this plastic bit here and unscrew that. Put put this in. Yeah, you see how this goes. And yep, let's get to it. So, uh, the moment of truth here. I'm just gonna grab the seatbelt, put it on. Alright, so the seatbelt is on, and here we go. Alright, give the tracks, and let go. Got it. So, it finally works. And uh, one more thing I also realized. Um, about like the seat belt, like they have this, they have this like little little um button thingy, and that actually prevents the buckle from falling down all the way to the floor, which is what I have, which is what I had on both the seat belts. So actually, uh, the button is the one that that lets you like grab it and like um what's this shoulder level when you sit down. Because now what I have to do is I have to reach all the way back and then grab the buckle from the floor. So this also solves another of my problems, which is great. 
and uh, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy. Was it worth the effort? Um, I guess so because I can now finally um, get all these scratches touched up, and when they touch, when they are touched up, I I hope that all this will be fine. And yeah, uh, other new, other like bad stuff for today. The the water leak that I saw from. From in the boot, um, I have to get that sorted ASAP because you it'll, it'll keep rusting, and before it affects any of the chassis or whatever, this is probably still just sheet metal. So yeah, uh, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy. It was a lot of effort. Uh, my back's aching, my legs are sore. I spent like a whole day here now in the car park, and yeah, I hope you enjoy what I did today. Uh, hit like if uh, this helped you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.